Hey, what's up, guys? It's George. It's uh, Thanksgiving. It's about the end of the day, and hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And I just want to share a quick message. Um, uh, I get people sometimes who message me, they email me, uh, they reach out to me, and they're real concerned because a family member of theirs is, you know, maybe they're um, whoever, someone they're close to, son, daughter, significant other, family member, best friend, whatever. Uh, is really addicted, smokes a lot of weed, and they're really concerned about this habit of theirs, and they want to know what to do. <clears throat> and this is what I want to say on that, is that, you know, really we're all on our own journey in life. Uh, and, you know, you can't, uh, this may not be the answer that you want to hear, but, um, you know, you can't force other people to change. And what I have found is that the most powerful way to influence other people and to get them to change is to lead by example. To be the change that you wish to see in the world, <clears throat> and uh, and I was thinking about this because this evening my my family and I we had a family gathering and uh, family festivity for Thanksgiving, and <clears throat> at the end of the night we were all sitting out around the fire pit, and uh, and all of us somehow just came up about how um, you know uh, you know none of us <laughs> really drink anymore. We're all um, living these the sober lives, and it's funny because it, it wasn't always like that. Um, but slowly but surely, one by one, we kind of just, um, you know, came back in line to living this sober life. And and I got to give a lot of credit to my my father. He's always been a, a strong uh, influence and character of our family. A lot of people look up to him. I've always looked up to my father. And uh, um, and my father, he's been sober my entire life, ever since I was born. And, uh, um, and even though I've never seen either of my parents drink or smoke weed uh, or smoke a cigarette, I've never seen them touch anything. They've been straight edge as long as I've known them. And they weren't like that before I was born. They had a whole history, but, um, but once they had children, they put all that behind them and, uh, and were committed to living a straight edge life. And even so, <laughs> I still went off the deep end. You know, they ended up having a child that just went crazy. I was a drug dealer for many years of my life, got arrested, um, you know, all kinds of craziness. And, uh, um, but, um, and there was nothing really my family could do to get me to stop. As much as, you know, as they wanted me to, um, they just continued to lead by example. And, uh, you know, my, 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 both of my parents have always been pillars of the community, and uh, but they and they always believed in me, even though I made bad choices. They didn't kick me to the curb. They continued to love me in spite of my choices. They continued to believe in me, and because of that, thankfully, I came back around. I knew deep down inside in my heart that I was making wrong choices. I knew it, and a part of us really looks up to our our, our parents, especially. Um, all children, no matter what age you are, even if you're a grown-up, there's a part of you that um, that wants your parents' affection, that wants your parents' respect. And when we make when we're making choices that we know that they're going to frown upon, there's a part of us that knows deep down inside that we shouldn't be doing that. And and uh, and I could have I could have ended up spending the rest of my life making bad choices and just going further and further down into the dump. That could have happened, but by my parents being those types of people that just continued to lead by example and continued to love me in spite of my choices. Fortunately, that was the strength that that helped guide me as my compass, kind of like my, my north star in, in, in helping me with get back on track in life. And, and I, so I wanted to share that as an example is that, um, you know, you can't, no matter what you do, you can't force anybody to, to get sober, to make any kind of choices in their life. We're all on our own journey in our life. All you can do is lead by example. You be the change you wish to see in the world. You lead by example and continue to love, especially if it's somebody very important to you, like a family member, your son, um, uh, you know, a, a blood relative then you love them no matter what. That's the best thing that you can do. The worst thing that you can do is completely, um, you know, kick them out of your life, be disgusted with them. I'm not saying that you have to allow them to stay into your life and to drag you down with them, but still love them unconditionally, regardless. Have boundaries for what you're willing to tolerate in your life, but if it's a blood relative, if it's someone that's you know, family, family is everything, then love them unconditionally, lead by example, and 
and pray that can help too and uh, that's if anything is gonna help put the odds in your favor that they may come back around and you just got to be patient with it you got to be patient with it but you're gonna have a lot better chance of getting them to turn their life around with this kind of behavior by leading by example by being there for them being supportive for them loving them in spite of their bad choices loving them unconditionally you're gonna have a better chance of winning them over and getting them to turn their life around than you are by making them feel like you don't love them at all you're disgusting with them trying to force them to change because then you're just gonna then you're just gonna push them away so hope this helps guys might not be the answer that you were hoping to hear but um this is the truth so with that being said guys hope you all have a great thanksgiving hope you're having a happy holidays stay strong until next time let's make it a great day a great week a great month a great year let's make it a great life see ya